Okay, guys, now that you've been introduced to the I, let's discuss how we would simplify if the exponent is higher. Because you just build a table with I raised to the zero, I raised to the first power, I raised to the second, and I raised to the third. And then you went ahead and did four, five, six, seven. And hopefully if you looked across, you saw the pattern. So when the numbers get much larger than you want to make a table to keep going, you are going to divide by four. So we're going to divide by four. The exponent. So 13 divided by 4 is going to be 12 with a leftover of 1. So 4 divided will only go into 13 times 3. So 4 times 3, which gives me 12. From that 13, my remainder is going to be 1. So that means I can actually find that, a, that i to the 1 power is going to be equal to the same thing as i to the 13th power. So if you look back at your chart, I to the 1 power is going to give me I. Because remember, anything to the 1 power gives you back what you started with. So then 24. So I'm looking at what am I multiplying 4 by to get close to 24. Well, 4 times 6 gives me 24. So that means there is 0 remainder. So then that means it's I to the 0, which is 1. All right. So I to the 10th. So 4 times 2 gives me 8 which gives me the closest thing to 10, right? So 4 times 2 gives me 8. And my remainder, so 10 minus 8 is 2. So that's my remainder. So that means i squared is what we're going to look for on our table. And i squared is negative 1. So that means i to the 10th is going to be equal to negative 1 as well. So there's our answer there. 42. So 42 is not divisible by 4 evenly, but 4 times 10 is 40 which is pretty close so if I take 42 and I take 40 away my remainder is going to be 2 so we're going to treat this as if it was I squared and I squared from your chart because remember that's basically the negative square root of negative 1 times the square root of negative 1 which is going to give me negative 1 so I to the 42 is going to be 1 so I to the 42nd power is a negative 1 when it's done now, we have 124. Pause the video and try it. See what number, get, how close we can get to 124 that's divisible by 4. So 124 is divisible by 4. 124 divided by 4, it gives me 31. So that's actually 4 times 31 equals 124. So again, that means no remainder. And if there's no remainder, that's a 0. So i to the 0. And remember, anything to the power of none, otherwise known as zero, is one. So that means it's going to be one. So I to the 124th power is also going to be one. So if I'm looking at 37, what can I multiply 4 by to get close to 37? Well, 4 times 8 is 32, which still gives me enough that we could go a little closer because 4 times 9 gives me 36. And I know that because 37 minus 32 there's more than four left over. So the remainder has to be less than four. So now that I'm at 36, so that means 37 minus 36, and my remainder is one. So I'm treating this i to the 30, 37th power as if it was i to the one power. Anything raised to the one, remember, is itself. So that means it's going to be i. So i to the 37th power is i. Couple more. So we have 15. So what can I multiply 4 by to get really close to 15? Well, 4 by 3 is 12, which leaves me a remainder of 3, right? 15 minus 12 is 3. And that means that I'm pretending like this is 3. I mean, i to the third power. And from your table, i to the third power is going to be a negative i. So that means i to the 15th is going to be negative i. Or if you don't want to memorize your table, which in my opinion is super easy because you only have four to memorize. Zero, one, two, and three. And it's one i, negative one, negative i. But remember, this is i squared times i. And i squared, we hopefully know, is a negative one. And negative one times i gives you that negative i. So either you memorize the i th to the third power is a negative i, or you can kind of troubleshoot it out all the way through. All right, 68. I challenge you again, pause it, figure out how close you can get to 68 with fours, and then try your answer. All right, so 68 divided by 4 is going to give us 17. So 4 
times 17, and that's the way I always check it. Because if it is divisible by 4, then it's too easy, because that means we have no remainder, because this is 68. And no remainder means i to the 0 power, and anything to the power of none is 1. So i to the 68 is going to be 1 again.